Here's a story I've told before, but when I came out as trans, the person who was the most supportive was my 85-year-old Republican evangelical Christian mother who took me in her arms and said, love will prevail. I wrote a recent op-ed for the Washington Post. In writing this piece, I wanted people to think about the fact that being trans is not just some crazy idea or an ideology or something like that. Well, welcome to North Carolina, everybody, where I can't use the restroom. What we want is for people to open their hearts and maybe learn a little bit more about what it means to be trans. Is it something that's in the brain? Is it something that's in the heart? Even now, it's a mystery to me, but it may not matter where the trans impulse comes from. What matters is what we do about it.